Hi, everyone. Thank you so much uh, for attending this FGO. I think it's a little uh, different than the usual one because we're doing this as an update as well as an EMA. I'm going to start presenting just a second. I'm assuming people can see my screen and everything. Okay. Um, I'm in full screen mode, mode, so let me know if there's any uh, problem here because I can't see anything but the uh, presenting part. So I'm going to go through this and then maybe after, after I'm done um, with my slides, then I'll look at all the chat questions, if that's all right. Cool. Well, so this is the, a Cloud Native Alliances update, an AMA. Um, so the, the, one of the main reasons to do this is I want to introduce myself. So I am Priyanka, and I'm going to be a director of alliances focused on Cloud Native. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. So I have a background in observability. For the last two years, I was working on um, distributed tracing per particularly. So there's this project in CNCF called uh, Open Tracing, and I was on the founding team for that. Um, open Tracing is an API spec to help you instrument your um, software system so that you can pull tracing data out. Um, and uh, we were the third project to join CNCF, so that helped really um, build a close relationship with, um, with the cloud native folks. And as a result, I've done a bunch of work with them. Uh, I'm planning a conference with them uh, just before KubeCon, et cetera. Uh, another part of my background is startups. That's actually how I came in contact with GitLab over, uh, I think, three and a half, four years ago. I was doing my own uh, dev tool company, which was a time tracking application. And uh, we applied to Y Combinator and uh, we had an interview. Someone connected us to Sid as a great person to learn from uh, for the interviews. And that time I think GitLab was like 10 people. <laughs> and uh, uh, since then I, I kept in touch with Sid and the company uh, did some small advisory work last year. And finally the time was right this year to join. I'm about two weeks into my job right now and it's, it's awesome. So um, really quickly, my role at GitLab is a hybrid role in some ways. So I am doing alliances and I'm going to focus on the cloud native ones, which think of it as the Kubernetes ecosystem. Uh, in addition to that, um, I'm also responsible to help uplift the technology brand, or rather, I shouldn't say uplift, rather uh, uncover the technology brand in, for GitLab in the Kubernetes ecosystem. Um, So the projects that I have going right now, uh, the day I joined GitLab, it was my first minute on the job was a meeting in person at a potential partner's office, which was definitely intense, <laughs> but uh, went, went quite well. Um, so I'm working uh, with Google folks uh, to partner for Cloud Next, uh, their event that's next week. Um, we're um, primarily in contact with cloud build folks, which uh, has been like an opportunistic oppor uh, thing we're doing because they are very excited to include us in their demos and things like that. Um, as we go forward, we want this to uh, shift focus towards serverless. Then the other thing I'm working on is OpenFAS, which is uh, just to help build out serverless support in GitLab. Uh, we just had a few calls with them, and uh, we're going to be hiring an engineer to focus on this, um, which is really exciting. On the CNCF front, which is Cloud Native Computing Foundation, just in case, um, I've got some meetings going at Google Next to start leveraging their leaders and their reach for GitLab. It'll, it's very open-ended, and we'll have, see what we get out of it. Um, so, as I mentioned, thought leadership was part of um, thought leadership and technology brand was part of my responsibilities at GitLab. So I'm actually right now at OzCon, which is the, uh, the big open source convention. It's in Portland. And I yesterday gave two talks on observability. Uh, I've linked to, to my talks here. Uh, it's, been <laughs> it's been intense because both these talks are actually new talks. So I speak often uh, and I have spoken at countless places over the last two years. 
Um, but usually it's a talk that I've given before and that I'm extended. This time it's a new repertoire that I started and uh, I was collaborating with new people. So both talks were high stakes, definitely very stressful, but seems like the audience enjoyed them. So I'm, I'm really happy. I've included links in here so you guys can, you folks can um, see the presentations if you like. Um, I also did a blog post which some of you saw and I got a lot of positive feedback on from both inside GitLab and outside uh, about why I'm joining the company. Um, tomorrow, today, sorry, <laughs> time is a blur. Today I am uh, speaking on a podcast called Changelog. They invited me to talk uh, because I guess because I was here at OzCon. Uh, it's very open-ended, so I think I'm going to be focusing on a little bit about observability and also about uh, kind of the topic of the blog post, which is why I'm joining GitLab and the potential and existing success of the company. So uh, the things that are coming up soon, um, at Google Next, we'll be part of uh, a talk on, on CICD for hybrid and on-prem uh, folks, and uh, there'll be the GitLab demos in that. Uh, I can send out the exact timing if people are interested uh, afterwards. Um, we want to, as I said, fo start focusing attention on the serverless efforts. So uh, that's what we'll be trying to navigate to. I also saw there's a Cloud Native Day by Redpoint Venture, so I'm going to be attending that. That's a good place to meet potential partners, customers, um, or even press and analysts. If anyone is around, this, this is going to be Monday next week. So if anyone's around and is, uh, you know, uh, client facing or uh, just generally interested in the cloud native space, you're welcome to come with me because they said I could bring a colleague. Um, CFPs are another big uh, thing that I need to look at. So um, the KubeCon Seattle, uh, I think it's Seattle, Seattle yeah. The KubeCon Seattle CFPs are open for, uh, I think, uh, two more weeks. Um, I'm preparing my, my submissions for that. Uh, I, this, is a, this is something I think it will be really helpful if folks who have a really great story to tell with their customers, particularly around Kubernetes, Prometheus, or if there are technical challenges and successes in our own work related to, um, related to you know, the cloud migration, uh, it would be really helpful. I think they love hearing stories which are not project product pitches, but rather uh, workflow stories, technology stories, or end users succeeding, that kind of stuff. So I would love to collaborate with anybody who has ideas. I, uh, we can definitely help you polish up uh, the, uh, the submission. Uh, also can help you with speaking and we can also co-present co if you feel more comfortable that way. So please reach out. This one can be great. Uh, just a quick note on some numbers I collected for the blog post. I had um, a pretty decent engagement on Twitter for it. This was completely un, like, unpromoted in terms of, uh, in the sense it was uh, all organic. So as um, I had about 26,000 impressions on Twitter and like uh, over a thousand engagement on each platform, Medium, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So as I mentioned, I'm at OzCon and it's been a great conference for me. Uh, I've been trying to make it a point to meet people about GitLab and learn their opinions and uh, uses of the product. So uh, on the left side, you see Kelsey Hightower. He, uh, some of you may know him, but he is, has been the lead evangelist for Kubernetes and he's really put it on the map. Uh, he uh, was the chair for OzCon and KubeCon for the last two years. Uh, he, he's, he's like, I would say he's uh, Kubernetes famous. And he took a great interest in talking about GitLab and what, how he sees the story. And that was really useful because this is a guy who really knows how to tell the right narrative that is interesting, human, and also sells. Um, I met the NSA. <laughs> uh, so this is someone from the NSA who was at a workshop I was conducting. And uh, they love GitLab. And I'm going to be trying to uh, maybe record some uh, testimonials or something with them today. Spent some time with Topo Paul from Capital One. He mentioned just how excited they are about trying out our CI product. Uh, he gave me a good uh, you know, set of thoughts on uh, you know, how he thinks of us in the industry, where he thinks our advantages are. Really useful for me as I'm bringing myself up to speed to what our customers love and need. 
I spoke to a few other folks, quite a few other folks that I, you know, I didn't take a selfie with everyone. <laughs> um, uh, AT&T, Delphix, Salesforce, et cetera. Um, so, and I've been, gotten contact info from a bunch of folks. And today that all my talks are done, I believe I'll be doing more of that because I'll be less stressed out working on <laughs> my uh, presentations. Just added some snippets here because people seem to enjoy my talks uh, and uh, it's a good uh, feedback loop, not trying to, <laughs> not trying to toot my horn, just uh, seeing that it seems to be working. <laughs>